Let's work on an annual account. To start your account, on your dashboard under Current Report, click on Annual Report. This opens your report. An overview of the totals will appear on the right-hand side. This information changes as new assets are added to your inventory of accounts. Bondable assets equal all financial assets and personal property. The net balance reflects bondable assets minus debt. Total assets equals bondable assets plus real estate. Debt is not included. To record income and expense transactions, click on Income and Expense tab. To add an income transaction, click Add Transaction. Select Income. Enter the date. When you first enter MMC, the date defaults to the current date, but once you've entered a transaction, the date defaults to the last date entered. Enter a description for the transaction. For income items, who did the money come from? For expense items, who did you pay? Enter the amount. Select a category relevant to the transaction. Select your account. Once your account is selected, it will default to that account for your next transaction. Click on Save. To record an expense transaction, click on Add Transaction. Select Expense. Enter the date. Enter a description for the transaction. For income items, who did the money come from? For expense items, who did you pay? Enter the amount. Enter a category relevant to the transaction. Select your account. And click on Save. To enter a split transaction, this would be where more than one category applies to an individual income or expense entry. Click on Add Transaction, enter an income or expense item, select or enter the date, enter a description such as who did you pay, enter the amount, select one category relevant to the transaction, Select your account, and click on Save. After entering the transaction for the full amount, then you click on the transaction that's to be split, and click on Split Between Categories. Enter the category and amount to be split out from the original entry. For multiple splits, click Add More. When finished, click on Save Changes. 
If this is your final account, check the Final Report checkbox at the top of the account screen and select the reason for this being a final report from the drop-down menu.